How's it going everybody? Today's video is gonna be about people looking to uh, collect Patty Pimlet's autograph. Um, I just wanna make a quick video and give a few tips here on uh, you know, a strategy to use. Um, his autograph is criminally overpriced at the moment. Um, I went on eBay and I've been checking just the internet and different websites that are selling his autograph. And photos of him are costing about 300 bucks US dollar and gloves are anywhere up to 500. I even seen one for $900 signed gloves, 900 bucks for Patty Pillman's autograph. Somebody is charging that. Um, I don't know if people are actually paying that. I'm going to assume that they're not. I mean, that is just insane for a guy that's had two fights in the UFC and hasn't really done anything to, you know, prove that his autograph costs that much. Um, so what I suggest is if you are an actual Patty Pimlet fan and you want his autograph, you're not just one of these people that's uh, kind of jumping on the bandwagon and wanting to get his stuff just because he's a big star and everybody else is kind of telling you to. Um, if you are a fan, I would say hold out and wait until he loses his first, wait until he gets his first loss. Once he gets his first loss, uh, especially if he gets knocked out or submitted, if someone finishes him, that autograph is going to plummet in price and you should be able to get it at an affordable rate. Uh, Patty has not done any actual signings. He did he did do a Haller head meet and greet, and that's where I'm going to assume most of these autographs are coming from, because a lot of uh, the photos are UFC promo photos. So uh, when when uh, when fighters do UFC uh, related appearances, like a Haller head event or um, you know Fan Expo or anything like that, they bring these promos with them to sign. So. Um, more than likely, anything that's signed by him is probably from that Haller head meet and greet that he did. So I would suggest, yes, wait till he loses or he should, someone might end up doing a signing with him soon. He is gonna be fighting in Vegas coming up in a couple weeks and actually another week or so. So maybe somebody, uh, a memorabilia promoter will uh, do a signing with him and his autograph will be more accessible to people in the States. Um, so yeah, do not pay 900 bucks. Do not pay 500 bucks. Do not even pay 200 bucks for a Patty Pimlin autograph. Um, when he loses and when he probably does his first uh, private signing, you'll probably be able to get a Patty Pimlet autograph for around, uh, yeah, I'd say about 150 would probably be a going rate for him just because of popularity. He's probably gonna be in that Sean O'Malley category. Um, so I think that more than likely, um, if he doesn't, if he continues to lose, the autograph will just keep going down. But I'm saying, I think um, when he gets his first loss or when he does a signing where there's more saturation with his autograph, look for around 150 mark is probably your sweet spot to pay for a Patty Pimlin autograph. All right, hope this helps. Please visit the website. It'll be at the link in the description. Uh, we don't have Patty Pimlin autographs because we're not going to pay $500 and our, our wholesale will probably be about 250 So we won't even entertain the idea of charging people uh, that kind of price for a Patty Pimlin autograph. So, um, but that definitely visit the website. We've got some other great fighter autographs on the site. And um, I hope this helps with your uh, Patty Pimlin collection. And we'll see you in the next video.